Plants have feelings just like people. No, 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 they don't. And if that's true, then a bunch of vegans are going through an existential crisis right now. Do you ever watch a video and go, no, just no. That's what happened when I watched Ikea's Bully a Plant. I'm surprised they didn't call this experiment Bully Plantin. Like planting the idea that bullying does anything to a non-sentient being. Plants do not have the same senses as human beings. They do not have a central nervous system. They cannot see. They cannot taste. They cannot speak. And they certainly do not understand the English language with non-existent ears. Bully a plant? More like bullshit plant, okay? Basically, this anti-scientific video puts forth the experiment wherein Ikea put two plants in a room for 30 days and allowed school children to bully one plant and then only say kind words to the other plant. And they are showing us evidence, which could totally be faked and is totally faked, that if you bully a plant, for 30 days that the plant dies. As the weeks passed, I started noticing that the one that was being bullied uh, started kind of to droop. If it affects a plant, it can definitely affect other people. This is so egregious in terms of manipulative marketing. It's irresponsible and unethical to create this mythology because it makes people feel good and then associate feel good anti-bullying feelings with Ikea. Do not become the Santa Claus of social experiments, Ikea. I want this experiment repeated properly. Where's the control plant? You only have two plants. Did you test the health of the plants prior to starting the experiment? What could have had root rot? I've bought plants at Ikea before and they've died, okay? So don't talk to me about Ikea plants being super healthy. RIP Aloe Plant 2017. They try to offer disclaimers based on scientific studies of how plants react to different stimuli and they don't really even cite their sources. It's like any commercial with a tiny ass disclaimer that nobody bothers reading. It's just a hint that what's going on in the commercial is probably exaggerated. My video right now serves to bully back Ikea and go, you guys should not be allowed to do this. This is anti-scientific and that is far worse than subjecting any child to bullying. You're trying to distract us from the fact that once you enter an Ikea store, it is a giant maze of pain. You're, the design of Ikea stores bullies people. They should address that instead of pretending that if you bully a plant that it doesn't grow or that it loses leaves. You're making me lose my hair at this level of bullshit that I just witnessed. Spread more truths about science. <sighs> instead of creating a fairy tale about a bully plant, I just, we're at this point in clickbait where it's like click hate. <sighs> no. Guys, let me know what you think of bully plants saying no to bullying in the comment section down below. I, I think it's a giant load of bull. I hope that people hold IKEA accountable and I hope other journalists call IKEA out on their bullshit. Bye. My name is Davis and I'm at Davis Video Everywhere.